Canada, crime is on the rise. The federal government there, there are liberals, a bunch of commies. They have told Canadians that they want to crack down on gun violence and keep all Canadians safe. You know, so, so they, they're putting policies in place. But those policies do just the opposite. They, uh, they have legislation now that they're putting forward that actually targets only law-abiding gun owners. These are people that have licenses, they have daily background checks, and, and the liberal idea of cracking down on criminals, you know, it simply makes things more difficult for people who already obey the law. I, I, what's up with that? Duh, there's a whole bunch of uh, loose connections. It's proven time and time again that these type of policies have no effect on gun violence. None whatsoever. Go after the bad guy. Crime is on the rise. What part of that don't you get? Don't go after the people who do not commit crimes. Doesn't make any sense. You know, it sounds good. I, I guess it's warm and fuzzy, but, but and it's a massive piece of legislation. It's going to result in lighter sentencing as well for gang members and terrorists. I mean, I'm serious about that. They've actually installed that. I can't think of another word. Installation is kind of neat th th that says that. All you good guys that have guns, we're going to treat you badly. All you bad guys, we're going to treat you better because you need help, right? Mm. I, I want to share with you a thing that it's out of my mouth, but I had to write it down because it's kind of big for me. Here it comes, like an essay. There are no facts being provided by those who relentlessly attack the firearm industry and law-abiding firearm owners. Anti-gun crusaders encourage, use, and sanction overblown emotional language to attack the very existence and the use of firearms. Hard data is available but not used for balanced information showing the significant benefits and achievements of firearms and of their law-abiding users. You know, innuendos, rumors, and unsupported evidence from anti-gun groups and liberal politicians overwhelmingly characterize firearm owners as bad folk, when in fact there are more unreported acts of good committed with a firearm than that of bad. Lastly, know that if not for freedom and liberty overall, and in particular for the right to have and to use a gun, we'd all be speaking German. Hey, you got that? And what an essay. The federal government now is expected to uh, introduce new legislation that, 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 that even adds to what I've just said. And they're going to take the good guy's rights away from taking a gun in Canada to a gunsmith or to a gun show. It used to be about safety for people. If I can't take, I guess you can if you fill out a whole bunch of forms and things, but it's very onerous, I probably won't do it. So I now, as an individual who's licensed in Canada, will use my gun much more often <laughs> than I normally would, and it could be unsafe without taking it to a gunsmith. I mean, so that they're now hurting me, and, and, and I didn't do anything bad. In fact, on the contrary, I pay a lot of taxes and things like that. You know, I, I guess there's one thing here that's pretty obvious, the prime mistake in Canada and the Liberal government, they missed something with all of their gun stuff. They're gonna reclassify guns, and this one is wrong, and this one is bad, and, and even take your property away. I was in Staples the other day, and it occurred to me, hey, there's a tape gun. They missed that one. You better add that to your list. <sighs> FirearmLegalDefense.com in Canada, they look after people. And if you don't have that, if you're a Canadian, if you have a gun license, you need to get insurance. 95 bucks a year and two things happen. They pay all of your legal fees if you're charged for any stupid little crime. There's no retainer. There's no money needed up front and, and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, up to half a million bucks a year in different occasions, they will look after you. And two, you get a free line 24-7 an attorney and you can say hey you know ask questions and and if you remember it's no longer just about guns my neighbor's cat walked to my property and I wanted to shoot it but I didn't what do you think you can get some free advice on that and I wanted just to share with you what my brother Grant said to me the other day who's involved also in the firearm legal defense I thought it was kind of cute I had to write it down here it comes money talks people mumble oh, just saying <laughs> lastly we got a letter just the other day from Google. It says one or more of your keywords has been disapproved. We won't be able to show your shows or your ads on Google anymore because you're just bad, bad people and we want to help keep people safe. And for this reason, we won't allow any promotion of what you're doing. And then it goes on to say that it was about guns. I had a show about guns. You may not get to see this show. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? And then they say in Canada, now they have new rules and, and they want to make sure everybody's safe. Even you good guys maybe aren't safe. More people in Canada and every other country around the world die every year in a swimming pool than they do by accidental gunshots or even the opposite of accidental. I got to tell you, the world is um, going upside down. What can you do to bring it back? 
vote right, I guess. You gotta vote stupid out of office, but dumb is forever. I used to think you could work with a little bit of conversion. It's not that easy. I, I mean, it's us against them. They are winning right now, and, and uh, we need to kind of get the last shot in. Have you ever watched a John Wayne show when somebody's getting beat up real bad and pretty soon he lands a punch and he's the winner? That has to be us, so get ready. Think about how you can line up and kind of get that punch ready to go and come back here and we'll give you more info, more stuff on the right. See ya.